Good afternoon and welcome to the first edition of our St. Anthony's After the Mass segment. We're excited to bring you this new opportunity to learn about your faith and to grow in your faith. Father Courtright often gets questions after Mass about different parts of the Mass, about different things that have happened or why certain things are the way that they are in the Bible or just in the Catholic Church. So we thought this would be a great opportunity, a great way for Father to answer those questions and just connect with our parishioners of St. Anthony's. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce to you our own Father Courtright, who's going to talk a little bit about something that he was asked after last week's Mass. Thank you, April. It's a great pleasure. Let me be brief. I forget which of the many questions that I was pressed with I was going to talk about. About how yeah. you, as a servant of God, are oftentimes blessed. So remember our readings from last Sunday? Weren't they beautiful? In that first reading from the Old Testament, that a woman of great means took care of the prophet uh, Elisha. And when he was in town, she'd have dinner for him. And then she said to her husband, you know, we should make something special for him. Let's get, put a room on the roof, a bed, a lamp, a stand and so forth, a chair, and then he can read and sleep. And, and so they did that. And then in the gospel, remember that Jesus said that whoever gives uh, a gift to a prophet, because he's a prophet, they will receive a prophet's reward. Whoever gives a gift to a holy man, because he's a holy man, will receive a holy man's reward, and so forth. And you'll remember I mentioned briefly in my homily about how I think that these readings have had such a great impact on the life of the church, and in my own life as a priest, how I benefit from that in the sense that people are so good, especially here at St. Anthony's. As I mentioned as a priest, I never lack for anything. People's graciousness and goodness uh, are always so good to me. And like I had mentioned, Father Paul Raj, when his sister had died and needed uh, like $1,500 for a flight to go home to India. And it was just amazing. A couple of days, you know, people called in and helped out with that. And it's just amazing how frequently uh, good people are. So I want to finish something that happened after the Mass. So as you recall, I had mentioned that one of our parishioners who had moved out of the parish a year or so ago was home this weekend before last. And he came and talked to me after Mass. And he said, you know, Father, my sister asked me this great question. She said, what did you miss more than anything during the days of the COVID lockdown? And I told her, I says, oh, the thing I missed the most was the Mass. She was surprised and she said, Oh, well, if you wanted to pray, you could just go out in the backyard and, you know, spend time with nature and communing with God. And he says, I know I do that all the time. He says, but it's just not the same. I didn't get to receive Jesus' precious body and blood. And then, like, especially going to confession, which I really miss. It's like, you know, it's about the sacraments. It's about that contact, that intimate, up-close, physical contact that we have to receive our Lord in a real way. And so here's the after the mass story. Here I thought that this gentleman had drove back home out west and guess who was at mass during that homily with a mask. So I didn't even know he was there. So of course I was just dumbfounded when I was bringing Holy Communion and he received Holy Communion, he took his mask off and there he was just grinning ear to ear. Anyhow, it was just a beautiful thing. And I again, thank God for all the goodness of our people who support the priesthood and the church and help to continue building God's kingdom. Hello, I'm the religious ed coordinator here at St. Anthony's. And I just want to, um, just as a reminder, we're not holding VBS here this summer, unfortunately. Um, but if you are looking for some activities or opportunities for your kids to stay busy this summer, Trinity Youth Camp is still accepting registrations, so you can check out the details on that and other um, activities or opportunities around the area. Check out the bulletin for details on those, and um, hopefully you'll find something that'll work for your kids. Thanks and goodbye.